Hey there, nation, and welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Cheapskate, and we are back with another episode of Hobby Side. And on today's episode, we are going to showcase one of Iron Major's latest terrain creations for our channel. And as you can see, this terrain is actually made for Necromunda, and it is called, we affectionately call it the Fuel Depot, is what we call it. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be designed to be. As you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Another beautiful uh, Iron Major creation. He did an amazing job building this entire structure. It's so detailed. It is so cool. You see the little details that we have on it as well. As you can see, we got little posters and things inside of it as well. And another cool thing about this terrain piece, too, this is actually our very first time actually making uh, graffiti art for any of our terrain before. Most of the time, Iron Major has pretty much just made the terrain like normal. It hasn't really decorated it with graffiti too much, but we decided to uh, experiment with that and actually try making up some terrain pieces with some graffiti art on it. So you can see here, we can take a look at some of the graffiti that's on this side here. So you can see we got <laughs> little uh, emblems for the different gangs and stuff. And yes, these are the names of the gangs that we've had in our previous campaigns on this channel. It looks absolutely fantastic and awe-inspiring. And once again, Iron Major is showing his creative genius by building this thing. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the Fuel Depot. So Iron Major decided to create this uh, piece of terrain. He was actually inspired by uh, two things. First of all, he was inspired by uh, our, us doing our campaign, of course, playing in the Ash Wastes. And of course, the one thing you'll need in the Ash Wastes to power your vehicle is fuel. So obviously, fighting over things like fuel depots like this would be very, very important. At the same time, Iron Major also wanted to try experimenting with using graffiti art for the very first time on a piece of terrain. And he figured what better piece to fight over in the Ash Wasteland than actually, you know, a fuel depot. And then actually having the gangs mark it up as well with their territories over time. So this piece of terrain is absolutely fantastic. It looks really, really cool. And I just love all the design elements on it. So let's go ahead and talk about how Iron Major went about creating this. So first of all, we have our board right here. Our board is a piece of white board that uh, Iron Major basically cut to size and dimension that he wanted to. If you're wondering what, how he made these hazard stripes on the outside of it, what he did is he took yellow uh, masking tape and he colored uh, the black stripes using Sharpies. That's basically what he did. So he cut them at a 45 degree angle and uh, colored them up real quick and then that's what he re uh, rimmed the edge of this in. Now the base, of course, is actually made out of your good old fashioned um, just sand and wood glue mixture that we always use for all of our texturing on things. And that's how I went about making that. And as you can see here, the ladders here are also here. The ladders here are actually made from, I believe he said it was made out of matchstick. Uh, well, my, well, you know, really thin pieces of popsicle stick. And so I went about making those real quick as well. Now the walls that you see here that make up the walkways of the structure, these walls here, these are actually just thin pieces of styrofoam that you get out of like uh, Amazon packages, that sort of thing. And if you're wondering what's going on with the base here, the base here is actually the side of an old wireless router. Uh, we actually, my Iron Major actually had an old wireless router that wasn't using anymore, so he took that piece and actually made the base, and that's where we get that grill from as well. Now, if you're wondering what these cans are here, the uh, the actual uh, tanks, the tanks are actually made from cans of Michelob Ultra, is actually what they're made from, old cans of Michelob Ultra. We had some friends over, uh, let's see, I think he had some family friends over ooh, a couple of months ago, and their fans are drinking Michelob like Ultra, so Iron Major course recycles. So he decided to take a couple of those cans and use them for these fuel tanks. And that's exactly what makes up the caps. The caps are actually six pack holders for these beer cans or plastic. It's also the same thing on the top bottom there as well. And then he covered the structure with wood glue and, uh, you know, some fine sand to make some te texturing for the rust and stuff. Now the piping that he actually uses is actually really cheap uh, uh, little connector toys that he got off of Amazon and he just would glue them up, uh, hot glue them up to the top there is what he did for as well. Now, if you're wondering what the walkways are made out of, these catwalks are actually made out of uh, fish tank filters, uh, plastic ones. And that's what he actually made those out of. And the hand railings that he used is actually pieces of old sprue that he cut out and actually used that to make the hand railings on those. So very, very minted there. Another thing that we have here as well is this uh, gangplank here. This gangplank is actually made of a several materials. We have foam board, as well as some uh, plastic card as well on the top. And of course, we sandwiched the little pieces of uh, cross point stitching grating. He uh, sandwiched that between the different layers as well. 
At the same time, he also has some pieces of angle iron as well that he used to make the railings out of. This is actually from an old kitchen remodel. He has some leftover angle iron for uh, cabinets. So he used that to make the railing out of that as well. And then of course he put the taping on there too. Now as for the painting, of course, he painted this entire thing up with cheap craft paint. So as you can see there, that's really cheap craft paint over there. We also got some toy gears making up the, uh, the handles of these pipes as well. And uh, also used uh, paper straws actually to make the pipes. And the reason why you use paper straws is because you realize that if you use paper and if it gets banged, it won't chip off the paint like plastic straws will. And I believe he learned that from Wylock Armory, I believe is where he got that name from, uh, that idea from for those. So that's where he made that from. And then of course we have the control panel here on the top. The control panel here is actually made out of gift card is actually what he did. He punched out a different, uh, the hole puncher, really small hole puncher, punched out the little rivets from uh, gift cards old gift cards in order to do that and he also colored them up as well permanent marker before he actually put them on there he also has some pictures that he downloaded for some control panels and put that on small thin sheets of uh, cardboard and glued them on there as well to create that effect now of course he painted that necromunda green that we always see all the time in different terrain uh, train tutorial channels to paint the tanks and then of course he painted the parts of the metal and gray and of course dry brushed it and had his black and brown washes to dirty it up and stuff made his own rust effect with orange paint so it came out really fantastic. So that part was really, really cool as well. He did a really good job of actually making this up. The spacers that are between the tanks are just a small, thin sheets of uh, styrofoam that he cut to size, in case you're wondering what those are. So let's go ahead and talk about the graffiti on the outside of these. So the graffiti that we created on this is actually made from uh, acrylic markers. So Iron Major got a bunch of acrylic markers off of Amazon, and we actually used that to decorate our, our graffiti. So we did a couple things. We put some graffiti marks for the different gangs that we've had in our in our campaigns as well as different terrain channels making channels on youtube as well that our major gets a lot of his ideas from he actually watches quite a bit of terrain making tutorial channels on um, on youtube he has actually subscribed to a bunch of them so if you guys are wondering where our major gets his ideas from and how to build things that's where he's getting it from he's actually watching these different terrain channels and getting the ideas to do that and so let's go and talk about some of the terrain that we see here so for example we have the sleeping dogs down here that was our old delac gang that we used to have in our uh dominion our dominion campaign same thing with the sleeping dogs up here the fte stands for f-bomb the emperors you could probably guess and the little circles of the crosses those are the symbols of the iron sights which is a house orlock gang that rose in the bottom of our campaign and rose up to the top which is kind of cool as well you can see we got this little water poster here with a little blackout uh, purple on it represent that kills den that's the emblem for 9-11, which is our House Van Sar gang that we have there. So if you wonder what that's all about, that's what's going on there. Let's go ahead and continue on with our graffiti some more. So here's another one here. If you wonder what that little orange yellow emblem there, the triangle with the uh, little oak leaf, that is Iron Major's personal brand. That's what he's going to use now to, you know, to uh, basically signify that he made something. It's got a little oak leaf there like he would do for uh, Army Majors, and he's got the triangle there in yellow for his. So that's kind of cool. That's his Iron Major emblem. And up here we got Eric for Eric's Hobby Workshop. That's one of the uh, channels that Iron Major gets inspired by all the time as well. Let's continue on some more with our terrain. Down here we have the Commander Chief Skate symbol, our logo from way back when, as well as one of the Iron Sights. BMC stands for Black Magic Craft for Jeremy from Black Magic Craft. So that's where Iron Major likes to get a lot of his ideas. So he gets a lot of his ideas from and how to make things. It's from Jeremy from Black Magic Craft. If you guys haven't subscribed to those uh, tutorial channels, do so. They, they definitely use your support. They do good work. Up here we have the beginnings of the Red Faction here. So you can imagine the Red Faction started actually spray painting it, but then they got interrupted in the middle of a fight, for example. That's what we're saying. And so because they had abandoned, you know, finishing up their gang tag on that one. Let's continue on some more with what we have some more here for our symbols. Here's an example of some more of the uh, control panels that Iron Major made. Those are actually old telephone wire and stuff, electrical cord that he has to do that, to make the wiring from there. There's another control panel as well as his signs. There's another Commander Cheapskate emblem right there for a classic design. Now KJ, that is for the Killjoys of House Escher. Then we have Wylock's Armory. That's another achievement channel that uh, Iron Major gets a lot of his ideas from. So you put the little icon there as well for their gang tag. And then we go over to this side as well. We have uh, the normal numeral for 8 standing for the Section 8, which is a Venator gang. We have this little face here with teeth with PE on the top. That stands for People Eaters. That's for the Scabies. We have uh, FTE again for, uh, you know, F-Bomb the Emperor. Some dollar bill symbols because, you know, graffiti, right? That's what they do. And then over here we have the Terrain Tutor. Mel the Terrain Tutor. That's what the TTT right there stands for as well. 
and that's what that little emblem represents as well and then up here in the top we have the jury which is my gang you got the scales of justice you got the jury on the top so it was kind of cool our major and i actually took some time decorating up the terrain uh, the uh, different graffiti on this so it looks really really awesome as well which is also kind of cool because we're actually thinking about doing a settle an, out an outlanders campaign on this channel and so uh, this piece of terrain here will actually fit really nicely in that uh, settlement for our uh, outlander campaign. oh i forgot we have an orange looking crown back there that's for the pelago slam kings another goliath gang that we had in the past so yeah it's kind of like a neat little homage to all the different gangs that came before and what they're all about as well so just an amazing piece of terrain there's so much detail on it just little cool little things all over the place and this thing just looks absolutely fantastic but like i said before planning on actually doing an outliners campaign so this would be a perfect piece of terrain to use for that as well so really looking forward to actually doing that in future battle reports. So yeah. So that's good difference to you guys. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input is valuable to us as always. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, as well as blogger.com for all the latest, greatest hobby news related to this channel. That's good for this one, you guys. Uh, I'm going to actually do some B-roll footage here with just me being quiet and then showing you the terrain. And you guys can take a look at it. All right, you guys. We'll catch you guys next one. Peace out and stay classy.